So I'm walking the path down to uh, the Kootenai River. This is uh, Kootenai Falls and the Swinging Bridge. And it looks like they're both to the left. So yeah, it's just a quarter of a mile to half of a mile to get down there. And uh, it seems like a pretty simple trail. But I uh, just driving along the highway too and saw it, historic landmark, the Swinging Bridge. And uh, I met some people at uh, at the last national forest I was at and uh, they told me about this bridge so it's definitely well known so it'll be cool to see and uh, very historical awesome look at the beautiful rock along this area incredible so many colors and stuff in there I'm just gonna walk over to where the falls is right now and uh, it looks like you might be able to get up on top of it yeah Check this gorgeousness out. So this is the river, and the falls is kind of up there. I can hike a little bit farther and I can uh, see a better view of that, but here's what we're working with right now. It looks amazing. I mean, even though we haven't had much rainfall recently, it still looks like it's, you know, pretty full to me, but. I imagine sometimes it gets up, you know, real high on those rocks and stuff, you know, almost to the edge probably. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful country. Ooh. Got another little scenic look out of the Kootenai Falls a little more here. So there's kind of where I was down on that side. Just walked up a little bit further. Got like a good view of the, the falls right here with some great, beautiful background and Looks like the water is really calm, kind of down on the right here, and then over there it's raging. It's pretty beautiful. It looks amazing. We're up to the swinging bridge now. Five person limit, it says on this bridge. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> Makes you think it's not the safest. Hopefully that guy's backpack in front of me isn't too heavy. <laughs> wow, yeah, this thing's really swaying. This is like one of those bridges at like a at like a play set, like a play area for kids. Like it shakes and wobbles when you walk across it, but this one is the whole Kootenai River. Wow. Yeah, I can't see any salmon or fish from here. They're all up at the at the top where everyone was snagging them, but beautiful views out of here. Really gorgeous. There's the road up there, also gorgeous. Some ladies dying. But yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna walk across and see what's on the other side of this bridge, but uh, woo. feels great up here though. Real breezy, you know, late afternoon, looking really nice. Gorgeous. Swinging bridge. Yeah. So across the bridge now. Nice big view right here. Huge landscape shot. Just gorgeous, this river. Up there, by that little falls right there, that's where I was watching everyone fish. That's kind of the edge where the salmon can't go any farther and they get kind of stuck up in there for spawning and then end up dying. So they're just snagging them out of there. But yeah, over there's the bridge. You can see there's like a train going by right now. Pretty beautiful. Hiking up the Kootenai Trail now. It was a little woodsy and now it's just turning into rock. So I'm kind of hiking up the side of some of the cliffs here on uh, sharp rocks. So yeah, it looks like I'm getting pretty close to a viewpoint here. Yeah! How's that for a view? Look at all this. Can't even get it all in the frame again. The falls is up over here too. I can see it from another point, but not from this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is by far not the easiest thing to walk down. It's 
kind of treacherous actually. Safety first, walking down shards of rock, holding a cell phone. Not easy. Yeah. How shaky this bridge gets when you run across it. Let's find out! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little bit of a wobble there. Some people can barely walk across this thing. They get too scared. Nothing to be scared of. No problem at all.